going? I think so. I hope it's going. It says live. How's it going? <laughs> Happy Saturday. So I'm going to take you through the hot series sculpt. It's a class um, I do on Saturdays at 8, hopefully again soon. Um, there's 25 postures. There's actually 26 postures in the series, but the middle one is corpse pose where it's just basically laying in Shavasana. We're going to skip that. You can do that at the end just to take a few minutes to recover and reconnect with your breath before you're done. Um, what else am I missing? I don't have any weights here. Um, if you have weights, some of these you can add weights in if you'd like. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna do all exercises that you can do just with your own body weight, because um, I know a lot of you probably don't have weights. So, um, anything else? I'm gonna turn some music on. If you got some music at home, um, go ahead and turn that on. If you don't have any music at home, if you're gonna be doing some of this stuff over the next couple days, you can always um, S Sorensen one two three. Um, is my Spotify name. So if you ever want to follow that, there's quite a few playlists on there. All right, let's do it. We're going to start. The series starts and ends with breathing postures. So we're going to start standing at the top of our mat. I'm going to back up here a little bit just so you can see me intertwine all 10 fingers together. Actually, I'm going to have Emily stand up and do it. And I'm going to come down here and do it. All 10 tw all fingers interlaced together. Bring the forearms together, pull your hands tight underneath your chin. We're going to inhale for a five count. As you inhale, you bring the arms up as high as you can to frame the face. When we hit zero, you tip the head back and slowly squeeze the arms together as you exhale out for a five count. If you want to watch me on the first one, here we go. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Tip it back. Exhale, five, four, Three, squeeze those forearms together, slowly bring it down. Again, inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring it down. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five. Don't be afraid to use that audible. Exhale through the mouth. Slowly bring it down three more times. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Two more times. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Last time. Inhale, five, four, three taking a couple little extra sips at the top exhale five four three two constrict the core squeeze out that last little bit of air hands come to your side <sighs> deep cleansing breaths if you don't have it grab some water grab a towel we don't really take breaks along the way there'll be some times where i have you in a rest position for just a few seconds so i trust you to take a drink when you need it Jump back in when you're ready. Alexa, play Spotify. If you did follow me on Spotify, I'm playing Hot Series Sculpt number 20. There's a lot on there. <laughs> All right, here we go. 25 postures in between. We add in more sculpt upbeat stuff. If you want to hold the postures a little longer, make this your own. On your inhale, I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. Sweep your arms high, take steeple grip over your head. On your next inhale, get tall and pull to the side. Every inhale, come up an inch or two. On your exhale, use that bottom hand to pull. Use that breath to sink in. Your arms are pulled back, your chin's up off your chest. Fight your hips in the opposite direction. Two more breaths, reach. Exhale, reach, 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 reach. Slowly inhale it up. Just step out with your left. Reach your arms to the right. Little taps with that foot, knee to elbow. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Feel that core engage both ways. Pull, push, pull, push. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
to mountain posture. Sweep the arms up high, take opposite steeple grip. Get tall, exhale, pull to the left. Again, keep those arms pulled back as far as you can. Keep that chin up off your chest. Exhale, pull with that bottom hand. Pull. Bite those hips to the right. Two more breaths, reach. Slowly hinge it up, step out with the right, reach to the left, and pulse, pull, pull. Little taps on that floor. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, mountain posture. Cleansing breath. Exhale, fold. This is just a stretch. Drop your head, push your hips high, hands come behind the calves, or you can use the floor. Exhale. Let that low back release. Backs of the legs soften. Heel toe your feet out. As long as we're down here, take those fists, put them together. That's how far your feet are apart. On your inhale, reverse. Reach long to me. This is just a hold three times through. Awkward pose. Feet are two fists apart. Just slide right in. Sit right into those heels. Now find your breath. So your hips are back as far as you can get them. Your shoulders are back while you're reaching hard. Every breath sink an inch. Maybe wiggle your toes a little bit to remind yourself to keep that weight back. Sink. Sink. Take a fold. All right, we're gonna push the hips back for eight, and we're gonna come up for eight, and we're gonna step side to side to curtsy lunge for eight. So bring your hands to your heart, push back, back, six, five. I don't have to count to 25 today, so I'll probably do better. Three, two, straight up, eight, seven. See if you can tap those knees with those elbows. Three, two, soft knees, left, right, left. You don't have to go super low. We're putting a little bit of torque on those knees from this angle, so take it nice and slow. Be soft, two, one more time. Actually, we're gonna go back into awkward pose, then we'll come back each time. Make sure those feet are two fists apart. Reach out long, roll the shoulders. This time, knees come together, slide in. Again, your tendency is to push those knees forward. Really sit those hips back as far as you can. Almost so that you're having to really fight that balance to stay on your heels. Get those arms out long. Roll those shoulders back. Sink for three, two. Exhale, fold. Here we go, push back, up. Step side to side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two straight up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, side to side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come back center, take a fold, two cleansing breaths, going into eagle pose, on your inhale, big reverse, tap those hands at the top, now sweep your right hand under your left, pull your palms together. Ankles, knees, thighs zipped up. Slide into your chair. Last position, right over left. You know what, we didn't do the third time through awkward pose, so we're gonna come back to it. Sink. Sink, squeeze those thighs together, fight to hook that foot. Sink. Sink. Everything unwinds as you come up. We're gonna go right back into the opposite side. Little tap at the top, sweep left under right. Pull the palms in hard to your face. Squeeze, slide in. Left over right, sink. Push those hips back and sink. Sink. Unwind it as you come up. 
we're gonna do that last section of awkward pose. Reach your arms out long, feet are two fists apart, knees come together, slide in. Last 10 seconds is to your toes. Drop your hips three inches. Now pop up to your toes for 10, nine, eight, seven. Drop those hips a little bit. Stay up on those toes. Four, three, two, exhale, fold. Walk out to plank. Drop to all fours, swing the legs around. As you roll back, you're gonna find those eagle legs. So right over left, fight to hook the foot. Come back here, hands near your head and crunch, knees come in as your chin goes to the sky. Keep that chin up, take the pressure out of the neck. Squeeze, don't let your shoulders come all the way to the ground. Pull those knees in as you lift the core. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take a full body stretch if you'd like. Then bring it back up, find your opposite, left over right. Squeeze those legs together. Hands near your head, squeeze, squeeze. If you really want, are worried about pulling on that head, maybe reach your hands to me. That takes them out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take a full body stretch if you'd like. Rock up to seated. Swing the legs around. Push into down dog. Slowly walk those hands back to your feet. Standing head to knee pose. Slowly bring it up. You can use your peace fingers on this and your toe if basket grip is an option or if you have a towel or just reach for what's available. Right knee comes up to 90. If you can get those hands under in that soft basket grip, elbows stay in nice and tight. Sit tall, standing leg is locked when you're ready. Slowly kick it out. Now focus on your breath and letting the back of that leg soften for six, five, wait to straighten a little more, four, three, two, slowly shift back into three. You can use the floor if you need it. Here, lift, 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 point that toe down. We're just going to keep pulsing. When I say bend your knee, stack your hip, just keep pulsing. Bend your knee, stack your hip. Keep pulsing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Square it up, slowly hinge it up. Cleansing breath, hands come to your side. Other side, left leg comes up to 90. Grab that basket grip or the peace fingers or use that towel. Get tall, standing leg is locked, elbows tight. Kick it out. Now focus on that breath and getting tall. Back the leg softens for five, four, three, two. Slowly hinge it forward. Standing split, or if you want to be in warrior three, and lift, lift, lift. Six, five, four, three. Bend your knees, stack your hip, pulse. Pulse. Six, five, four, three, two. Slowly hinge it up. Wherever you're at on your mat, take a step to the center of your mat. I'm gonna screw back just a little bit. Actually take a step to the back of your mat, then we'll all step out together. All right, right leg steps at least three feet out. Drop your back foot, sweep up high, take steeple grip. Now pop up, shift onto the right foot, find your balance, hinge, 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 reach. Your goal is to make that straight line across. Fight that glute to get that back leg high. Reach hard to the front and to the back. Five, four, three. Two, we're gonna take this right into warrior three sweeps, kind of a dip and a sweep. So as you come up, you're gonna hinge your arms up, pull them in, then hinge down into standing split. Slowly bring it up, back and forth. Using the arms, puts more of it into that seat, which is where we wanna work. 
four, three, two, last one, mountain posture, back of your mat, take a big three foot step out with the left, sweep up, take steeple, shift into that front foot, find your balance, watch out for the ceiling fan, hinge, hinge, reach, squeeze that leg, right to straighten it, nice straight line, reach the hands hard one way, the foot hard the other, three, two, now hinge down, tap the floor as you come up, pull the hands to, to the shoulders so your arms come in like this as you hinge up, five, four, put this all right here, three, two, last one, hinge up, if you're at the back of your mat, or move to the back of your mat if you're not, take a half turn to the left, you're going to step out as far as you can with that right foot, see if you can go out four feet, lock those legs, this is just a stretch, exhale, lead with your heart, fold, hips are high, you can do whatever you want with that upper body, you want to pull through the ankles, use the floor to get a little deeper, you can cross the arms, sway side to side and ragdoll, I like to give options when we do this, so if you have an inversion in your practice you'd like to take, crow, headstand, wherever you're at, I encourage you to take it now. If you'd like to follow me with the more strength exercise, turn your feet out to 45, sit your hips back, then bring yourself up here. <sighs> Keep turning that way, we want to stay on your mat, sink, and pulse, 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 pulse. I like to pop those toes at the top just to remind myself to keep my weight back. Hold low. Now pop it up to your right heel. Left. Alternate, speed it up. Right, left, right, left. Sink low, left, right, left, right, left. We're going to go through those three one more time. Center, pulse, pulse, pulse. Pulse, sit your hips back, get those shoulders up. Low, right, left, speed it up. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, side to side. Every time, right and left, get a little lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Take one more fold, lock those legs out, turn your feet forward, and fold. Walk the hands to the front. You can do this posture with a bent or straight leg. Triangle pose. From here, I want you to windmill up to warrior two. Again, you can do it bent, or if you prefer to do it straight leg. Before you tick-tock, I want you to reach, 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 now tick-tock those arms. <sighs> Point that, those fingers between your big and second toe. Fight to get that straight line from your head all the way down to your toes, even if that just means pushing down a couple inches. Six, five, four, three. If you have that straight leg, bend into that front leg before you reverse. <sighs> and windmill your arms through. Come to plank to down dog. Float your left leg high, drive it through. Plant that back foot in the warrior one position. Windmill up to two. Bent or straight, reach, 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 tick tock. Now find your breath. A little lower, fight those hips a little lower for three, two, if you got that straight front leg, bend into it and then reverse. Windmill through. Step that right up to meet the left. Take a rock, come to seated. Hands come behind the glute, fingers pointing towards me. We're gonna pulse for 10, then pulse the leg up for 10, then the opposite leg up for 10, then we'll take a stretch. We're gonna do this two times through. Actually, triceps, we're gonna do 20. 
We can do 20. Take two little steps out now. Pulse, pulse. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 12, 13, 14, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Shoot that right leg up. Now pulse up, up. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, switch. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Pull those knees in. Squeeze. If you want to stretch the tricep a little bit. One more time, 20, 10, 10. Pop it up and 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Put it here, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Push those hips a little higher. Right leg comes up, pulse, pulse. Squeeze right through there, lift. Challenge yourself to go a couple inches higher than you thought. Four, three, two. Switch. Six, five, four, three, two. Pull those knees in, release. Again, if you want to stretch those triceps a little bit, bend it behind the head. Swing those legs around to all fours. Down dog. Walk the hands back to the feet. Sweep up, take that steeple grip. Three foot step out with the right. Front leg is straight, locked. Drop your back foot into warrior one. As you exhale, roll. Get long, get long, forehead to knee. You need to use the floor here with those hands. The key is try to straighten that leg. Try to make everything long. Then focus on your breath. Five, four, three, two, Slowly roll it up, pop that back heel, step the right back to meet the left. Hands down to your side, cleansing breath. Sweep up high, take opposite steeple. Big step out at least three feet with that left. Drop your back foot into one, front leg is locked, and roll, roll, roll. Reach, 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 forehead to knee. Your tendency is to let that knee bend and fall into it a little bit. Challenge yourself to straighten it out. You can feel that stretch all the way up here into your low back for four, three, two. Slowly inhale it up. Pop that back heel. Left steps back to meet the right. Arms come to your side as you dive. Walk it out. Kind of been avoiding the upper body. You can do these on your knees, up on your toes. Go back and forth. Just challenge yourself. We're gonna do this three times, eight pushes in between each eight. We're gonna sink into child's pose. Chaturanga position. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, child's pose. We're just gonna take a breath here, so reach those arms out long. Shift back forward. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep that gaze up. We tend to wanna to drop our head. Two, child's pose. Again, don't ever hesitate. Wipe that off. Some sweat away from your eyes. <sighs> Grab yourself a sip whenever you need it. Ready? Last one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Child's pose. <sighs> Our last standing posture is tree. Second time through, I'm going to show you a couple options. If toe stand is in your practice, it's traditionally not in my practice, but it's going to be in my practice today so that I can show anybody who would like to try it. The other option is the pose of the month we've been working on is the half chair twist option. This is kind of your rest pose. However you want to get to standing, down dog push back or just come to standing. You're going to find your tree. Right foot comes to your calf. Pull it above the knee or drop it in front above the knee. The key is I just don't want it right on the knee. You're gonna put a lot of pressure on it. Take good care of those knees. Find your balance, standing leg is locked. If you'd like, extend the arms. Focus on keeping that knee open and focus on your breath. Four, three, 
two, slowly bring it down, switch it out, calf above the knee or drop it out in front. Find your balance, extend if you'd like. Keep that hip open, five, four, three, two, slowly bring it down. All right, if toe stand is in your practice, what you're simply going to do is you're gonna come back to that same tree position. You're gonna walk the hands down. I have to be really careful just because I'm starting, my knees are starting to get a little, whatever you wanna call them. Um, so I have to be careful, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold, you're gonna walk your hands out, and in that tree you're gonna come down so your leg is still crossed and you're sitting and then you're gonna find that balance. But you're gonna be down more on your toe down here. If it's in your practice, I trust you to take it. All right, the rest of us, we're gonna practice half chair. Slide into your chair, ankles, knees, thighs zipped up. Cross one ankle over the opposite. Sink, sink. Extend those arms. If you'd like to try the twist, hands come. Turn towards the foot that's lifted. Sink, 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 hinge and twist. It's weird doing this on carpet. Five, four, three, slowly bring it up. Any of my toe stands out there, you come up when you're ready. Opposite side, what's up girl? Hey, oh, you're gonna do this in jeans? All right, sink, 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 sink. Right over left. Extend if you'd like. Last option, hands come to your heart. Sink, 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 hinge. Twist towards this foot. Six, five, four. Yeah, get your kids in on this. They're probably bored out of their minds. Uh, three, two, inhale it up. Exhale, fold. Walk out to plank. Drop to all fours, swing those legs around. Wind removing pose, three times through. As you roll back, shoot one leg towards me. The other knee comes into the chest. Fight that foot hard towards the screen. Don't make this a rest, use that upper body. Pull it in as tight as you can. If you can get it to your chest, pull it out to your armpit. Keep that gaze to the sky, that soft neck. Four, three, both legs come up, make a V straight as much as you can. Gaze to the sky, reach left, right, left, right, left. Don't let your shoulders come all the way down. Pulse up as high as you can. You just come down a couple inches as you go from one foot to the next. Five, four, three, two, left, opposite leg comes in, reach the other to the screen and squeeze. Feel that low back soften, gaze us to the sky. Again, if you can get it to the chest, pull it out to the armpit. Five, four, three, two. Both legs extend straight up. This time bring them together. Hands come to your side. Your goal is straight up, not here and here. It's pulse up, pulse up. Lead with the heels, heels, heels. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, take a full body stretch quick. Last variation on this is both knees come in, reach for opposite elbow and squeeze. Use your breath to let your, sail, your tailbone sink. Again, don't make this a rest. Squeeze those legs in as tight as you can. Squeeze, squeeze. Five, four, three. Rock yourself up to seated. We're gonna go three times through Cobra. Each time we're gonna do a different variation on presses. The first one, we're gonna pulse. The second one, Chaturanga pushes all the way up. The last one, we're gonna do them under tension, meaning we'll be in Chaturanga. We go up, two, three, four, up. Keeping that tension on the muscle, that's how we get change. In between, we'll drop into Cobra. Cobra's like up dog except we're on our knees. So come to Chaturanga on your inhale, up dog, drop to your knees. Now concentrate on pushing the earth away. The chin's up out of the chest, letting that front side or front relax. 
Be careful with that low back as you shift up into plank. 10 pulses, then drop back into cobra. Chaturanga, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, cobra. Reconnect. These are all the way up, chaturanga. Pop it up. If you ever low back issues, sit back into child's pose, jump back in when you're ready. You can always do these on your knees. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Cobra. All right, we got one more set of pushes under tension. You take those to child's pose, knees come out wide, toes together, you sit back. All right, you're gonna have to fight on these. Up for one, down for two, three, four. Here we go. Chaturanga, up, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, if it's burning, it should, six, seven, eight, nine, child's pose, reach long, reconnect with your breath. All right, we're gonna go through a few back bending postures on our stomach. Locust, full locust, and floor bow pose. All right, for the first one, I'm gonna show you while I'm up here. I'm gonna be on my stomach, but I'm gonna roll open one hip, bring my hand to the midline, palm to the earth. Roll open the other hip, bring them together. If you can cross the pinkies, great. If not, get them close. So bring yourself to the earth, roll open one hip, palm to the earth to the midline. Close it. Left palm to the midline, close it. I promise your elbows will be fine. We're not gonna hold it very long. On your inhale, lift that low body. Come on, girl, you can do it. Fight a little higher for four, three. <laughs> Atta girl, release. Left ear to the mat, palms up, toes in, heels out, take a rest. <sighs> Two, slowly push it up to all fours, all right. The next one's full locust. We're gonna lift, same thing, except this time the arms stay out to the side. So lower to the earth, arms come to the side. Your goal is to get up on that low part of the stomach. Again, we're not gonna hold it very long. On your inhale, lift everything. Shoot those arms back. Atta girl, see if you can reach a little higher. Five, four, three, two, right ear to the mat, palms up, toes together. Heels drop out. One more back bending posture on the floor. All right, right leg comes up, sweep back, grab the outside of that foot. Left comes up, reach for the outside. On your inhale, kick hard into those. Kick, kick. You know, we're doing floor bow pose, which just made me realize we didn't do dancer, we didn't do dancer pose. <laughs> <laughs> all this social distancing's got me all combobbled. Four, kick, kick, three, two, slowly release it. Should we do dancer pose? Yeah. Or did we miss it? All right, let's do it. Down dog. Tiptoe halfway to the middle of your mat. Walk the hands back to the middle. Reverse. All right, dancer pose. This was last month's pose of the month. Right foot comes up. Windmill that right arm back. Reach inside the foot. Find your balance. Reach the right arm up high, straight up. As you hinge, kick, kick, kick hard into that back foot. If you wobble, if you fall out of it, kick hard. Five, four, three, two. Slowly hinge it up. Bring your palms to your side. Cleansing breath. Left leg comes up to 90. Windmill it back. Reach inside that foot. Find your balance, reach high. Hinge, hinge. Kick hard as you reach hard. Hold for five. Again, if you fall out of it, come back in. You got time, four, three. All you got, kick, kick, kick. Slowly hinge it up. Hands to your heart. Exhale, fold. Walk out to all fours. We did that floor bow pose, we opened up the chest. Let's use it. So we're gonna do wide pushes. We're not gonna do three sets through, so we're gonna add a few. Take child's when you need it, 15 times. Hands at least as wide as the mat. 
You can always go to your knees if you need it. Keep that gaze up and 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, child's pose. Deep breaths. All right, fixed firm pose. All right. We're all gonna be at different places in our practice. If you can, you're gonna have your knees together and your feet out wide. If you can get your seat all the way to the earth, if you can get it firmly planted, that's where you wanna be. If your seat isn't firmly planted in the earth, that means you're hovering on your knees and putting a lot of pressure. So a couple options. If you happen to have a yoga block at home, you can sit on that right here. If you don't and you can't plant your seat, bring your heels together. We do not want to be hovering on these knees. Deep breaths. Here we go. Slowly walk it back. If you feel comfortable here and you want to take it down to your elbows, I trust you to go where your practice leads you this morning. If you still feel comfortable there and you want to go down to your back, take it nice and slow. Focus on your breath. Four, three, two. Slowly walk it up. Ankles, knees, thighs come together. Half tortoise pose. We're gonna sweep our arms up into prayer grip so my hands aren't inter, not a steeple, they're not interlocked. Just bring your palms together. Get tall. As we reach out, the only thing that hits the floor is our pinky. So get tall and reach, reach, reach. Before you hit the earth, get as long as you can. The only thing that hits the earth is the pinkies. Now extend and breathe. Hold five, four, three, two. Slowly roll it up. Hands come to your side. Come up to kneeling. Knees are shoulder distance apart. This is another one we're all gonna be in different places in our practice. If you feel a little queasy on this one, I promise it goes right away when we come back up. Sweep those hands into those back pockets. And we're, take it easy. Squeeze the elbows together. Slowly start to take your gaze across the ceiling. Maybe this is where you're at this morning. If you want to, take it down to the heels. How far you go back is up to you. Focus on that breath. Your body right now is fighting for air, so you really have to concentrate on it. Vander, knock it off. Go back there. Go back there. Four, three, two, slowly bring it up. Come to all four. I'm gonna take you twice through cow cat. Just to stretch that low back. On your inhale, reach your heart. Exhale, push the earth away around through that upper back and the shoulders. Come back to neutral. All right, ankles, knees, thighs come together. We kind of skipped some of the sculpt. We're gonna finish the last few poses and then we're gonna finish with a big sculpt push. You're gonna glue your forehead to your knees. Never let it come off. If your forehead comes off your knees, release the back a little bit, glue it back on and then round. As you go down, your hands come to your heels. Glue that forehead to your knees and now round from your tailbone through the top of your head. Again, if that head comes off those knees, reconnect it, then round again. Long breaths. Hold four, three, two. Slowly bring it up. Walk your hands out to all fours and swing the legs around. Left leg comes out, 45 degree angle. You can do either side, doesn't matter. Pull the right in. If you can't do the basket grip on this foot, grab a towel and do peace fingers, grab your shin, whatever is available, but just challenge that stretch. Sweep up, take basket grip or grab that towel, however you wanna do it. Square up to that foot first. Now, slow, lead with your heart. Slow, slow, reach, reach, reach. Now fall in. Every breath come up an inch. Then every exhale, sink and pull. Don't make this a rest with that upper body. Let your upper body sink you into the posture. Two more breaths. One more breath. Slowly roll it up. Switch it out. Right leg out to 45. 
pull that left in, sweep up, square the shoulders up, now reach, 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 fall in. Again, use that inhale to come up an inch, exhale, pull, pull, two more breaths, pull, slowly bring it up, legs come in front, we're going to roll back, feel every vertebrae hit the earth, when your head hits the earth, we exhale straight up, second exhale, we reach as far as we can and we fall in, arms over the head, slow, 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 engage through the core, slow, 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 when your head hits the earth, exhale straight up, exhale, reach, 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 fall in, now just focus on the stretch. Three, two, one more stretch. Then we speed it up for a little bit and we end with a breath posture. Right leg comes up over the left knee. You can stay here or if you feel comfortable, sweep that opposite leg back. You're gonna take your right hand, put it behind that right glute, reach high. On your exhale, twist, hook that knee and use it. Every inhale, get tall. Every exhale, see how far behind you you can see. Let that low back soften, move with your breath. Two more breaths, get tall, and twist. Twist, slowly unwind it. Opposite leg shoots out, cross sweep if it's available. Sit tall, left hand behind that left glute. Reach high on your exhale, hook that knee. Get tall. We put a lot of pressure on that low back during that back bending series. This is where we reward it. Twist. Might put your elbow on your knee so that we can use it to twist you. Two more breaths. Twist. Slowly unwind it. All right, here's our last push. A few minutes, we end with a breath posture. Mander, turn up the Alexa. All right, we're gonna go non-stop. I'm just gonna go from one exercise to the next. I haven't thought of what they're gonna be yet, but it's gonna be fun. You ready, girl? All right, all the way to the end. Come to all fours. Set your intention to finish this out this morning. On your inhale, reach your heart to me. Exhale, round. Oh, you're gonna turn the music up? We Oh, one more time, inhale. And exhale, come to plank, <sighs> sink your hips back to your heels. Every 12, we're gonna vinyasa, right to right, left to left, then take a vinyasa after 12, push out. Right, left, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, vinyasa, take it slow. Inhale to up, exhale to down. Take a couple pedals, pull to plank, hips to heels, knee to nose, right, left, right, left, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, vinyasa. We got one more. Down dog. Take a couple pedals, pull to plank, last one, hips to heels, right to left, left to right, twist, get that knee underneath. Twist that upper body. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, vinyasa. Take a breath in child's pose. We gotta keep going all the way to the finish. Down dog, ankles, knees, thighs zipped up. Hover your knees, push your hips to the sky. Little pulse, not all the way to the top, not all the way to the bottom. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, hold it low, march the knees. In, in, squeeze, it's a little movement. Pulse, 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 pulse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take your gaze out in front of your hands and pulse the upper body. Keep the bend in the knees, keep that tension on those quads. Five, four, 
three, two, down dog, pedal out those legs. We're gonna go one more time through that, one upper body push for there. Cover those knees, pulse up, 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 up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, march. Right, left, right, left. Keep those knees low. Five, four, three. Gazes up, pulse the upper body. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All fours, inhale, cow. Exhale, round. All right, last upper body move. We're gonna do it three times through. After the first one, you're gonna walk your hands back to your feet. Big inhale, reverse, open your chest. Second time, you're gonna walk forward. Same thing, reverse, open the chest. The last ones we take right into vinyasa. The last ones are for time. Lander, get out of the way. Let's go back a little bit. Here we go, to the end. Plank. First ones are for 10. Last one is for time. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Down dog, walk it back. Big inhale, reverse. Open up that chest. Reach high, exhale, dive. Walk it out to plank. Two more times, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven. Focus on good form. Five, four, three, two, down dog. Walk it forward. Big inhale, reverse, open that chest, reach high and dive. This is it, take this to child's pose. We're going 20 seconds to the finish. You ready girl? Yeah. All the way, go! Keep those elbows in tight, or if you're doing them wide, however you're doing them, think strong back, keep that gaze up, halfway. Everybody get six. Five, four, three, two, child's pose. Come up when you're ready. I'm gonna go in just a few seconds. Grab a sip towel off as I explain the last breath posture. You can do this however you'd like. You can do it sitting on your heels. You can swing the legs around, cross leg, bound leg. Doesn't matter, just wherever you feel like you have the chest the most expanded where you can take in and push out air the best. <sighs> Blowing in firm pose. It's a 60 second exhale. It's a quick chopping breath. I like to bring my hand where my ribs come together so I can feel that snap, snap as I breathe. We're gonna take in as big a breath as we can. We're gonna exhale it out for a 60 count. Your body will naturally take in the air it needs to get to zero. When we hit zero, whatever air is left, push it all the way out. Here we go to the end. Take in as much air as you can and go. <laughs> snap, 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 snap. 40. 30. Snap, 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 snap. 20. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, exhale. I'd encourage you, any stretches your body's calling for, take them. If you have a few minutes to just take some time for you, swing those legs around, Shavasana corpse pose, take a few breaths. Thanks for joining me. Hope you're doing well. Take care of yourselves, take care of your family. Take care of your neighbors. Oh, hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for joining us. The best in me honors and respects the best in each of you. Namaste. Namaste. How do you end this? Yeah. <laughs>